Today we are headed to the church of Santa Balbina and it is kind of in central historic Rome, old Rome, ancient Rome. I just said a bunch of different neighborhoods at once. Um, it's not far from Circus Maximus, right by the Baths of Caracalla, pretty close to the Colosseum. Um, but it's just out of the way, so most people aren't going to visit this church. Um, the street I'm walking on, this is one of Rome's silent roads. So there's really no traffic on these streets. You can see they're walled, surrounded by trees. You can hear the birds. Just a really pretty quaint part of town, um, especially considering we're just... 10 minute walk from the Colosseum. Um, so we're gonna visit this church and it's probably closed, but uh, we'll have a look around. Hey guys, today is my birthday. Happy birthday! Hi. Thanks, kids. And we are at the church of Santa Balbina. Lily, do you know who Santa Balbina is? She is the daughter of a Roman guard whose job was to watch over prisoners who were going to be executed. That's right. And so the prison was over here, and he would visit these prisoners who were about to be executed. And one day he was talking to this guy. And he said, hey, you're a Christian, right? And the guy said, yes, I'm a Christian. And the guard said, I wouldn't mind being a Christian, but you got to convince me there's an afterlife. And so this Christian said, I'm not the person you need to speak to. You need to talk to the Pope. And the guard was like, well, the Pope, he's also in prison, but he's across town, so we can't bring him over here. So the next day, the guard shows up, and the prisoner is in his cell talking to the Pope. The Pope was brought over by angels, and they were in the same cell. And so the prisoner, is, or the, the guard, is talking to the Pope and says, Hey, Pope, I wouldn't mind being Christian, but you got to convince me that there's some truth to this stuff. And he said, My daughter is very sick. Is there anything you can do to help her? And the Pope says, Well, I can't, but God can. What you need to do is you need to find the chains that held Peter when he was imprisoned and take them to your daughter. And the guard was like, Okay, I know where that is. So this is about 50 years after Peter's martyrdom. So he went over to the prison where Peter was, found the chains, brought him to his daughter. His daughter kissed the chains. She was miraculously healed. Um, the guard, his daughter, his wife, they all converted, became Christians. The Pope, he, he was able to get the Pope released and that other Christian guy. And then what did the Pope do, Lil? The Pope built a church. He built a church dedicated to? The chains of St. Peter. Yeah, the miraculous chains of Peter. And so he named that church what? San Pietro and yeah, that's the church we visited the other day. See how they're all connected? So, San Pietro and Vincoli, everybody visits. Santa Balbina, nobody visits. Um, also in this church, they have some stuff from the early St. Peter's Church, some of the artwork, an altar, and it's a really pretty church. So, you wanna go have a look around? Let's go. Let's go.
I don't know if that was loud or not. Oi! Oi! Oh. Do you know anything about that, Amelia? Oh, um, so... <laughs> Yes. Which church? St. Peter and Chain? Yeah, high five.